Okay, let's take a look. All right, um, so you got some movement in there, which is good. It's looking pretty slow and floaty, and it looks like you failed to animate really almost anything on the body except for the root and the feet. Um, so the main point I would make for you if we kind of go over to the Maya file is that for each of these poses, you should be looking at and adjusting every one of these curve controls. So let's say I go to this one. Um, you know, I want to think about what this arm is doing, you know, um, maybe it's more kind of by the side, you know, what is the elbow doing? What, what, ooh, something's funny with your binding of the elbow. What are the fingers doing maybe? And also you're supposed to, you're supposed to be keying everything on every pose. So each one of these set keyframe with all S, S, S. So you, you select all and you keyframe all of the controls on every frame. Okay. And so all of these frames and maybe, you know, when, when this foot's forward, the hips are going to be, whoops, the hips are going to be a little bit forward and where is the shoulder control? It's hidden inside here for some reason. Um, the shoulders are going to be rotated back this way. And when this leg is in the air, the, um, the weight is over this foot. And maybe you can also tilt the hips up towards the leg that's carrying the weight. And you can tip the, you know, shoulders the opposite direction. And this arm is going to be, you know, when that you've kind of got that okay where this arm is sort of forward when when that leg the opposite leg is forward and this is back with that one although it's kind of swung out pretty far that way anyways the idea is you go through and then you know make sure you keyframe select all s for set keyframe and you want to make sure every one of these um you you're going through all those controls and carefully posing your character the whole thing every control the other thing, other big thing I would say about this is that if this character is going to leap, which is I think you want to do, first the character has to go down. So here you're going to want to do a pose where the character, you know, kind of anticipates the jump. So, you know, really crouches down and obviously you put more time into the pose than I just did. And then it's more believable when the character jumps up, if it if it uh, anticipates that first. And also make sure these feet aren't sliding. Make sure they stick. So, for example, when this touches down, you know, obviously get that flat. But I'm going to set a keyframe here, middle mouse click, set another one here, right? And so that's sticking now. Middle mouse click updates the time without updating the motion. So it's a way to get the same position here. If I middle mouse click here and set a keyframe, those two on the same position and it sticks. So yeah, just a lot more time on each of those poses and then anticipate. So if you're going to leap up, you got to crouch down first and then leap up.